Hey there, it's Anonymous T, where we spill the tea anonymously. Hello, 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 everyone. Hello, YouTubers. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day today, sending good vibes, sending positivity, seeing blessings, and good energy to each and every single one of you. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today we are talking about Jada Smith uh, bashing her husband, Will Smith, once again, you guys. <laughs> like, what is going on? What is happening? So uh, Jada is making the news today because she has a book that's coming out. And she did an interview, you guys, with Oprah's BFF, Gail King, right? Uh, so you already know where this is heading, right? And basically says that she has been separated now from Will Smith since allegedly 2016. She allegedly met August Alsina uh, sometime in the middle of 2015. Uh, so... Is the separation because of the August Alzina entanglement? We do not know, right? Or is this being said to save face because of all of the alleged open marriage rumors, right? Because there's always been rumors about Will Smith, right? However, nothing's ever been st substantiated or confirmed or people without a shadow of a doubt to say for certain that X, Y, and Z has happened. With Will Smith, people have always made speculation, but we had the confirmation of the entanglement with August Alsina because August Alsina told the world, right? He told Angela Lee, e, and then Jada Pinkett had went on her then show, Red Table Talk, to uh, humiliate her husband, Will Smith, <laughs> and, and and you know talk about this entanglement. Will Smith tried to dress it up then, saying they were separated or whatever. Uh, but again, why? Are we still talking about this? Why are you saying that you have been separated for nearly 10 years? Why, like what, like what is the end game at this point, right? I know way more information about Will Smith and Jada Pinkett's marriage that I have ever wanted to know, that I have never wanted to have the details about. Uh, whether it was the rumors that they were going to be in Scientology, whether it was the rumors that they have an open marriage, whether it was all of the cheating rumors. And then Jada's like, you know what? I need to tell more people about me and my husband, right? And decides to do this red table talk, right? Where it is just nothing but a flat out character assassination on her husband, you guys. And this is before we even have the entanglement, right? This is even before it was even exposed, uh, the affair with August Alsina, right? It, it was like Jada's own personal platform to just bash her husband, right? Because she thought in her mind, okay, this is my way of getting back at Will Smith for whatever I'm pissed off at him about, right? And then of course the praise of, you know, Tupac and this, you know, alleged whatever with Tupac to the point that she has her daughter you know, writing letters to Tupac to say, please, you know, come be with her mom, right? Make it make sense when you have a whole father right there in the house, right? And even Opus Alcina said in the interview with Angela Yee that he had a conversation with Will Smith that basically said, hey, me and Jada are just partners at this point, that there's no longer any romance in the marriage. So this was already spilled, but for some reason today, it has to, you know, trend and be escalated and elevated once again. And, and that's not even the worst part of this, right? The worst part is the Chris Rock comments, right? Where, you know, essentially it's brought up again that she thought this was a joke. She thought this was a skit and is then bringing up once more that Chris Rock has asked Jay to pick it out all these years but more recently as the divorce rumors of will smith and jada really started to heat up uh chris rock had asked jada pinkett smith out once more and thinking that her and will were getting a divorce and she said that they were not getting a divorce that the rumors were not true and um he felt a certain type of way so some people are deducing and drawing the conclusion that maybe this led to uh chris rock calling jada pinkett smith gi jane at the Oscars because he felt a certain type of way that once again, she rejected him, right? And so I know some of you are gonna be like, hey, why is Will Smith, you know, going up to slap Chris Rock uh, if him and Jada have been separated allegedly since 2016, right? But here's the thing, right? Even if there's, you know, even in Holly Weird, whatever is taking place, um, you know, whatever things are good or bad between uh, Jada and Will, um, at least on Will's part, he seems to love the heck out of 
uh, Jada Pinkett, right? Uh, regardless of how many times she tries to emasculate him, she tries to drag him, she tries to ex destroy his movie star A-list Oscar winning legacy, uh, with these interviews, with this book coming out, with this red table talk, with this need to have herself in the spotlight when technically she doesn't need it, right? Technically she doesn't need the money, right? Her and Will have enough money to never work again. Her and Will, even though Will's not doing as many movies now as he used to, it's because him and Jada also run a production company, right? And they also put out and produce other movies and other programming, you guys. So this book, I just feel like is another stab, is another, you know, jab at Will Smith at his legacy, at his reputation, and I just don't understand, right? Because for several years, for decades, we have known Will Smith as, you know, the best PR, one of the best PRs in the business. I would say second to Beyonce's PR people, um, as far as presenting the most clean cut image, uh, the most positive image, you know, anti-swearing, anti-negativity, always about the positivity, always having the charisma, the, you know, the, you know, endearing qualities and all of these things. And, and Mr. Box Office, especially in the summer and holiday months throughout the year, we knew any Will Smith movie uh, was going to go number one and make billions of dollars. So I have no idea why Jada wants to reduce her marriage to Will Smith and reduce Will Smith uh, to basically this tit for tat nonsense of all of their marital issues instead of us talking about the legacy of Will Smith, right? And, and that's where I have an issue because at what point is it going to click for Jada Pinkett that we do not care, <laughs> that we do not care about when you and Will Smith were separated or if you're still separated or whether or not you intend to get a divorce or if you ever get a divorce or whatever, right? Or when you're trying to make the timelines worth, you're trying to make the math work uh, to make your affair with August Alcina work, right? To make it look good, to say, hey, well, we were separated at the time. It doesn't matter. The problem is uh, August Alcina was your son's friend, was your son's BFF, right? And, and living at the house and all of these things, right? And people have a problem with how all of that came to be, right? And in addition to, even though there's been no confirmed rumors of Will Smith cheating, it looks like still you're legally married to Will Smith, separated or not. You're still legally married, so still technically it's cheating, you guys. And there was no divorce proceedings there. You know, you can allege that there were separate lives, but you still made it a point to show up to award shows together, to show up to movie premieres together, to show up to all of these events together and to show your social media followers that you and Will Smith were in the same household. So please spare me the sympathy and the oh my gosh that I'm not going to have for you uh, when you have done everything to try to show the world that you always want to be known as Mrs. Will Smith. But when the opportunity presents itself for you to bash Mr. Will Smith, you take it and you take the money and you take the social media attention that it gets you and that you are on the top pages of the shade room and the neighborhood talk and all these publications and even now the mainstream publications because now people are getting sick of it, right? Even Anna Navarro uh, is pissed because she is like, why are you doing this? Like, what is the point? What are we getting out of this, right? Uh, and she basically said, listen, why is Jada Pinkett Smith going after her husband for money and trying to drop these bombshells about a separation and, and, and all of these things, right? Trying to diminish whatever guilt and, and all the th things she feels about how badly this August Alcina affair exposure went down, right? But basically, Anna Navarro said, listen, I think Jada has a relationship with her bank account and basically said that every time Jada needs to increase the ratings of Red Table Talk, every time she needs to sell books, she drops these bombshells about Will Smith. I find it unseemly. 
And she also says, I will tell you this, be careful of anybody who pretends to have a perfect marriage. And, and, and there it is, right? That there it is, right? And, and I and I don't I don't disagree. I do not disagree because this is unnecessary. This is absolutely unnecessary, right? But again, it's going to garner attention. It is going to get clicks and views. It is going to generate some type of income for Jada. But all of this, just to stay married at Will Smith when it's all said and done, I don't feel any sorry. I don't feel any sympathy. I'm sorry. I I just don't, right? Because you still want to be known as Mrs. Smith. You still want to be known as Mrs. Will Smith, even if you are not romantically involved, even if you are separated. You do not want to divorce this man. Even though you have shown all signs that you are done with this man, that you resent this man, that you feel a certain way about this man that is not positive, uh, you still want the title of being with Mrs. Will Smith because you know the clout and the attention and the prestige that that gives you. But you continue to tarnish this man's reputation and tear him down. And I just don't understand if you are so miserable, like Fantasia says, free yourself. If Will Smith makes you so unhappy, free yourself. Divorce him. (laughs) Don't tell me you've been separated nearly 10 years only for you to basically still say, hey, I am still going to be married to the business that is Will Smith because I know the clout and the attention that it gives me, but I also want to make my own money by bashing my husband as well. No, 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 no. You're not getting sympathy for me for that. I'm sorry, I can't do it. Uh, So there is that. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you're notified the moment I post new content on my channel. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys again very soon.